Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. Today I want to talk about how to place a rail button in a difficult to access location, like in this three inch airframe here where I can't get my hand in there. So I've got a couple of tips on how to do that. And while we're at it, we'll take a look at how to mark the airframe, a simple way to do that, keep everything lined up where it should be. Okay, let's take a look at those parts. Before you glue anything together, I find it's best to plan on where you're going to mount your rail buttons. The easiest way to mark the tube is with this angled piece of aluminum. You put it on the airframe between the fin slots here, wiggle it around a little bit to make sure that it's centered, and then just take your pencil and draw a line at the end and forward. Now I like to mount my rail buttons far forward of the center of gravity, center of pressure, uh, add at least one body tube diameter ahead of the center of gravity um, because I think it supports the airframe better when you're loading the rocket onto the rail. It's difficult to get this forward rail button in, so I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that right now. I've taken a small ball of silly putty, yes, it's silly putty, and mounted on the end of this rail. I've placed a mark at the end of the airframe here so that it lines up. That way I know approximately where it's going to end up at. If you don't have Silly Putty, you can also use Play-Doh, uh, a number of things. If you're going to use a nut for attachment, like uh, this particular rail button does, then you can use this steel stick or epoxy clay or something like that and use about the same amount there and push it up in there and then roll it around to make a nice secure uh, area for that button to mount into. That works really well. So this is by Binder Design, and uh, the other type is the type you typically would get with a kit. Once you get your T-nut or weld nut attached to the airframe, then you can put the button back on. The screw goes through the airframe. Of course, this is all lined up. And then once you tighten it down, it will remove from the silly putty easily like that. Now, if you're using a nut, like I said before, you can use the epoxy clay right here, attach the nut, tighten it down, and then kind of work this around, roll it around a little bit, and it'll make a nice seal over the nut so that it doesn't loosen up. If you're using just the weld nut, you can just use some epoxy on a dowel and a brush like this, and when it's in the airframe, you can go ahead and brush some epoxy on the back of it, and that way you don't have to worry about that backing out either. So those are a couple of simple ways of mounting a rail button in an airframe that you can't reach. If you have any other ideas, share them in the comments below. Okay, that does it for today. I'll see you at the launch. 